It took months of planning and preparation to get here. The road to a Snowcross National Championship starts right here, right now. Rounds one and two of Amswell Championship Snowcross powered by Ram Trucks kicks off in Elk River, Minnesota as four of the best pro teams on the planet have arrived. Who will come out on top at ERX? Find out next. Sledhead 24-7 starts now. Finally on the road to the first race of the year. It's like January 6th or 7th today and normally our first race is Thanksgiving weekend. You know, the unfortunate thing is, can't have any spectators because of the COVID rules by uh, Minnesota. We're ready to go racing. Super excited to finally get here. The track looks awesome when you're driving up. We were checking it out, and it looks really rough. It's gonna be technical with uh, you know having that long start. The yard cats are really gonna work well on that. Today's gonna be a good day, today, you know. It's uh, been a long time since we, uh, we've been racing, and uh, getting excited to get back out on the track today. Just had a custom painted the kid um, helmet, and then turned around and put a dry erase marker on it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm always nervous on race day, but once uh, the light goes green, I'm good. Just uh, just want to get the day rolling, pretty much. That's kind of how I feel. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm, I have been nervous the whole <laughs> whole week, but now it's started feeling better. I I'm ready. It's race day. Well, that's exciting. <laughs> just pumped it's finally here. Not the most creative track. For okay, sure. <laughs> Should be good for racing. It's a big track. Is this kind of close to what we ran the Dominator at? Like the size? In the layout. Yeah, it's pretty much the same. I studied meteorology for two semesters. Yeah, how'd that work out? Well, I ended up becoming a snowmobile mechanic, so it's been very good. Uh, I've been on the sled for a few months now. It's been really good, actually. Um, just Get out on the track. Glowing orange. It's that crazy. Is sweet. <laughs> Just uh, getting here to the track for the day and uh, got some presents and uh, excited to check out the track a little bit. It looks pretty gnarly, a lot of whoops. And uh, yeah, gonna gear up here in a little bit and get ready for practice in a couple hours. So excited to get out there. It's got a little pre race jitters. I mean, it's pretty hard not to, like, to be totally calm, but. Um, they're more on the side of excitement, so yeah. which is good. Yeah. Cool. Ten horse, first Earth. sticker. Yep. <laughs> I'll be out in the pro light class, so I'm hoping to have good heat races tonight and get a good pick in the final and hopefully rip a whole shot. Just watching the sport guys here right before my driver's meeting. I got practice at 150. Trying to see what kind of lines are taken. I can't see. <laughs> I can move it. 
Dude, every time I breathe, my goggles would just fog up. I'm like, you me? I did some starts and uh, the sled went good and uh, the suspension works good too, so I'm happy with the sled and everything. It's super fun. It's a little hard to see to race guys. It'll help when it gets uh, dark for the races to uh, the vision will be a little bit better, but the track was fun. The sled felt great. Felt good out there with being around other riders and stuff. Felt super good. Long track, so I like that. Um, it's a little icy right now, but as the day goes on, it's going to break up. Uh, the low lighting is a little, little bad, so it's hard to see. There's plenty on the lineup in the qualifying rounds. At a stud boy hole start is the best way to get to the top. But first, here's today's M-Soil Tech Tip. You don't only have the freedom to ride your sled how you want, you also have the freedom to protect your sled how you want. Sled manufacturers want you to think you must use their oil to maintain your new sled warranty. Federal law protects your right to choose the oil you think is best without fear of losing your warranty. And we have your back too. Run Amsoil Interceptor exclusively in your new model year snowmobile and we'll back you with our two year limited snowmobile engine warranty for up to 5,000 miles or two years. In the unlikely event of an engine failure while using Interceptor, we'll cover you for qualified parts and labor. Find out if your sled qualifies and get the details at amsoil.com slash ROF warranty. Sledhead 24-7 on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Air Force. Aim high. By Amsoil. Runs on Frito. By FXR. Celebrating 25 years of speed by rocks track trail or tree line ride with rocks and by ziegler cat exceptional service backing the best equipment well first practice under our belt gave her a good shakedown tough field out there we download some data see what Looks like, talk about shocks, talk about clutching, go for the next practice and hopefully be rocking by 6.45 tonight. Practice went excellent, first round pro light for both our guys. Uh, we got tangled up in, in both heats but came out with a couple fourths so we're still in the hunt for front row for tonight so we'll take that. All day he's been telling me about those guns. Next thing I know, the sled's running away from him. He ain't hanging on. Dude, this happened so fast, I don't even know what happened. I didn't even think I hit him right hard. Did it look like I hit him hard? I just, I know the first word on my mouth. <laughs> it was yeah. old. I got old. It's gonna happen, right? Shouldn't be happening. That feels so good. That's what we worked for. Oh my god. What are you doing before the face line? What am I doing? Yeah, what's your line here? Pound, pound, pound. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm like trying to like see some different lines in here, but it's pretty. Uh, I think it's all the same. They made it pretty, uh, pretty one, one yeah. way. <laughs> Good luck. Hey. Let's 
kinds of carnage a little further back, though. See if everybody gets up from that. You're down to the inside of Lemieux. They're going to go bar to bar over the U.S. Air Force flyaway. Lemieux launches into the turn just ahead of Jacob Yerk, who gets sideways coming off the corner. We talked about 10 minutes and two laps, so uh, we'll keep an eye on that time. And Logan Christian jumping up there to the number three spot as we end lap number one. But again, Flagman out there giving him the signal. Two to go. Two to go here. And uh, we'll have a winner if there's the white flag. And Lincoln Lemieux strikes first as he lights the flames at the Enzoil finish line, winning the first Enzoil Pro Final. Yeah. It's good to be back. I mean, nothing bees coming out winning the first race. So. Woo! It's not my first time I've been to the hospital, and then I uh, was able to get a, num a W on the first race of the season. So. Let's go. Fourth. Hey, fourth. Good job, nice both you guys. Run, huh? Awesome. How about that first double in? Good. Good. Where were you going? Left and right. Woo! Everywhere. Dude, I was literally stuck behind Trent. Where were the I think I'm more excited than he is. <laughs> yeah, we worked hard for this. Hey, good job, Sonny. Good, job. You good too, seeing bro. you. Yeah, you job, too. Guys. Congrats to Adam Peterson and Lucky Lincoln Lemieux, both earning big wins. But can they sustain the fast starts? Last night was a really good day for us. We ended up with our first heat race win uh, in round one, and then in round two we got had a off heat race, but we were good. And then uh, in the final, we ended up with third. So getting on the box that first day of the uh, season is a uh, huge boost for the confidence and just a huge uh, keep the ball rolling momentum kind of thing for today and the rest of the season. Take them over the skid frame. Yeah, just make sure all the bolts are tight. I put a different rear shock in it. We changed some settings. So we want to be ready for the day so we have no problems, no failures. After last night's final, um, I made a few mistakes. I, I was kind of struggling in a couple of the whoop sections, and um, it was a little bit frustrating because I felt good enough earlier in the day, but you know, sometimes that's just the way it goes. So I'm definitely going to be looking to be more consistent in those sections and uh, and just continue to execute you know, the parts of the track that I thought I did well, my turns and, uh, you know, some of the other sections. So just uh, try to keep building and building each day. And uh, when it all comes together, uh, I believe we'll have success. Pretty excited to uh, to be racing. Yesterday, day one, it went awesome. It went pretty awesome. You know, looking at Adam Peterson a year ago, blew his knee out, took him out for the entire season. To come back a year later and to run as strong as Adam did. That's pretty impressive. What's interesting this year, there's going to be 10 guys that could win any pro final out there because it's so competitive. Three or four good Polaris guys, or three or four good Skidoo guys, or a couple good Arnica guys. Any one of them get the whole shot, they could easily win it. Uh, yesterday was a, a pretty consistent day. Went uh, second and fourth in my qualifiers. Not too bad. I got fourth gate pick and then in the final ripped the hole shot and just led every lap so it was a good day. I've had pretty good luck in finals getting hole shots so uh, you know when you get it it's just you know you got clear vision you can go as fast as you want you know you set the pace so um, yeah there's nothing like getting a hole shot it's just it's your one goal it's my one goal every time I'm racing you know, get the hole shot and good things will happen. For sure the first race jitters for the I mean your rookie rookie debut in, in the new class, so I mean those probably came into play a little bit. I tried not to think about it, but I mean there's a couple times before the race where I was a, I could feel it a little bit in my stomach and I felt my heart start to race a little bit, but other than that, um, everything went really well. Really solid first day and uh, I'm happy with that one. I did see that, yeah. yeah. There was like there was like the triple 
and then a, a single and then two corner bumps. Yeah. And they'd like roll the single and then and then jump jump at the corner and down it. Yeah. 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 So I saw that. The team is ten percent more than everybody else. In the first two corners. You know what happens when you just back off. Whoa, you get yeah. swallowed up by the swarm. Yeah. So hold hold your ground. Everybody. The practice went really well. Sled looked pretty good, uh, no complaints from the riders, so we're just going to look things over and clean some stuff up and get ready for round one. When AMSOIL Championship Snowcross powered by Ram Trucks returns, it's time for the big show and ultimate test, the finals. Sledhead 24-7 on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by AMSOIL. Runs on Freedom by Polaris, Think Outside, by Ram Trucks, Motor Trend Truck of the Year for the third year in a row, and by Stud Boy, Traction with an Attitude. Triple in by Lorenz. He was doing that earlier. Triples again. There he's got his position. And here's that last lap battle for second and third. Peterson trying to hang on for a second place finish. Travis Kern putting in the work, trying to run him down here as they head towards the Fox Shocks corner. But here comes Cameron Anderson. He will take the checkers and the win in the Pro Light Final here at ERX Motor Park. Two nights in a row. Uh, I'm in on a roll. Hopefully I can keep the ball rolling the rest of the season. Yeah. Pretty pumped at the uh, one and two. They like to do the big lip over there. Oh, fuck. Did they yeah. make it so steep? Dude, in that second heat race? <laughs> oh my god. It was straight up. Yeah. <laughs> and flat landing too. Yeah. Bummer for, for Lincoln though, I saw a side panel fall off and, and I knew that uh, I, I, had a, I had a feeling that it was coming at some point that he wasn't going to be able to keep going, but uh, just super bummed for him because he was running an awesome race and um, to be honest, I think he would have won that race. Well, Lincoln was in the lead, they black flagged him. Would they black flag him? Would they black flag I have no idea. So, You'll think just out of the blue. Shuring's got to be. It was a dream day. I mean, we won three out of the four heats, and we took second in the one we didn't win. We're running one and two in the final. Uh, one driver passed uh, Hunter and moved into second spot. Lincoln had the lead of the few laps to go, two laps to go, and a side panel came off. I don't know if he got hit in the corner or whatever. And they black flagged us, which, in my opinion, sucks right now because we are so far ahead that it's one thing when you're in a bunch of traffic and it might present a situation, but. I think there's got to be a little bit of common sense here, and I didn't see that tonight, in my opinion. And it, it hurts right now because 
he wrote his heart out and I see something like that happen, you know, our clutch guards were still in place, everything's in place, just a cosmetic side panel came off and I'm not super happy right now about that. I'm super happy for Hunter, but it's kind of hard to show a big smile when, you know, you watch the whole points lead slip away and... You guys charged hard. It would have been easy to put your head down today and say, heck with it, but you guys rode hard, hard. We got hard chargers, so that's a big positive. We'll get her straightened away and it'll get better. Results will get better. We started like kind of slapping the, the first And uh, we ended up fourth, so it was a good strong ride and felt good to put in a uh, halfway decent ride. So build off of that and uh, go get him in the buke. Next week on Amsoil Championship Snowcross, powered by Ram Trucks, the tour heads down the Mississippi River to Dubuque, Iowa as the championship chase heats up.